I'm a Catholic and I strongly agree with the Pope's statement that it's not for him, it's not for me, it's not for anyone but God to judge. And that the gay and lesbian populations have tremendous gifts and talents to offer to the church and to offer to anyone in the spirit. Uh, and my question is, the demographics of sexual orientation, uh, I looked up four or five pretty reputable uh, sources. The Washington Post says 1.6% gay or lesbian in a federal health survey. The William Institute put it at 1.8% identify as gay and lesbian. And the Wikipedia says 1.7%. Uh, a federal health study says it's under 2%. So there's a consensus about the number of gay and lesbian people. And they've done great things with strong caucuses and the support of Hollywood and movies and uh, every aspect of liberal society seems to, to help. And there will be gay marriage in all 50 states, I'm sure, after the liberal Supreme Court justices tally up their final scores. But I had an interesting question. We don't know nearly as much about highly functioning, mentally ill people who are persecuted, who are abused, who are physically battered, who are stigmatized. And, and in many cases, it's almost a self-fulfilling prophecy. If someone tells you enough times that you're going to be under depression, you, you're probably going to be depressed. So I applied the same standards, went through Google and the major surveys of the percentages of mentally ill people. And the Kim Foundation estimates 26% during any given year of Americans will be mentally ill. The National Alliance on Mental Illness says 61.5 million people in the United States will suffer for their mental illness in any given year. A Newsweek article, the Tech Science Mental health substance abuse survey says that 42.5 million will suffer from mental illness